MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news, reviews, events, and special offers via video media. I'm here at Herco in High Wycombe. I've got next to me here a current Max 4 control. I'm here to meet with Colin, who's going to talk to us about the new version, the Max 5, and he's going to tell us the differences between the Max 4 and the Max 5 control. So this is the new Max 5, Colin. What are the differences? Right, okay, thank you. Uh, the Max 5 control, this is a twin screen Max 5 control. Um, as you can see on this particular machine here, this is a VMX range which comes standard with the twin screen. On the single screen machines which come on our VM range is this on the left hand side. But the unique thing of the new Max 5 control is that at any time you could add a twin screen, which you couldn't do before. So you could have a single screen, but you have you a single add screen. the twin. Yes, have a single screen and then add the twin screen if that's what your operators want. The new screens are high definition graphics and they're now 19 inches versus our 12 inch screens that we had uh, prior. On the right hand side you can see that there is a lot more functionality to be able to move graphics around, zoom in, pan. And the other feature on the right hand screen now, the graphics screen, is that we have distance go part, we have part count, we can monitor what the machine is doing and also see through real time tool simulation and we can look at the graphics whilst on the left hand screen which is laid out exactly the same, we could be programming our next job whilst monitoring the current job. That's the screen Z. Is there any difference on the, call it the hardware here? Yeah, the, the layout of the screens has been kept exactly the same as the previous Max 4 control for obvious reasons of operators going from one machine to the other. Some of the enhancements that we've made on, on the control is obviously when we come into the buttons, they're a very res responsive you know, layout and functionality to what we had before. So our operators will see that and I think they will grasp that. But and, the layout like is that. the same, but, is it? But, by the, but, by but the, the layout is exactly the same. Okay. One of the other features that I'd like to show is the hand wheel. The hand wheel on the Max controls previously was inlaid into the control. Now on the Max and the VM range and all the controls are the same so you can take this hand wheel off. Okay. Now as you can see on here we have a display. That is an option which is going to be standard on the VMX range of machines but on the VM will be an option. This allows us now to go into the machine, move the machine around, check part position and so without having to look, to look back at the control, look back at the to control see we've got all are. that on there. So that's a feature that some of our customers, I think, will like. From NC code and having an uh, ASCII keyboard, again, that's been put into the control. So Herco has spent a lot of time with the aesthetics and layout of the new control. I, I did also read somewhere about a light and a torch on this hand wheel. Is that correct? Yes, it is. Yeah, just some of the features, some neat Herco features that on here, if you're looking, we've got an LED torch on here, and obviously we can do some more functionality on the machine from the hand wheel rather than coming back to, yeah. the, to, to the control. It's neat because when you're in the machine, you don't want to have to keep coming back to it. Do you? No, absolutely. Yeah, no, that's right. This is a neat feature of the new control where we can actually fold the control down we can push that back into the machine, close that. And what this allows the customers to do is obviously if you've got two machines very close, you can now get your fork truck down, yeah. you can load the machines. Whereas before, when you've got controls out there, you have to allow that in your, your floor layout. Yeah, now future proofing. That's what Herco always look at doing for this control to carry us into the next 12 to 15 years. Um, one of the main things that we've put on here is obviously we've got audio on the control and now we've got a webcam. Okay. Um, it's not current as of today, but in the very near future, that's going to allow us to do very similar things to Skype. So we, the customer can speak to an engineer and you've got video link and you've got sound. So 
this really takes us on to So to if, the next if there was decade. a problem with the machine, the engineer could stand this side, knowing that he could potentially see one of your engineers the other side through Absolutely. the webcam, yeah, yeah, talk right. through the audio, that's and right. solve the issues if there are any. Yes. Brilliant. That's been a really good insight, Colin. No, thank you very much. Thank, and you. thank you for your time. Thank you. For more videos, products and news, go to mtdcnc.com or follow MTD Online on Twitter.